All right, guys, so I filled the truck back up with air. Now we are underneath said truck. We're gonna go ahead and we're going to manually release the air from the primary tank. And I've got my buddy up in the truck to let me know if it starts to rain in the secondary or not. Uh, we can make sure that our uh, one-way check valve works and we're not sharing air between the two tanks. So we'll go ahead and we'll turn this valve here. We'll just wait a minute and see. So we're gonna crawl back out from underneath here really quick. All right, did we lose air from secondary? No, nope, primary. Just primary. All right, so we've only lost air from our primary tank, so we know that the valve works for that side. Now we'll go ahead, we'll go back down there, we'll drain our secondary tank, and we'll see if we lose anything from the primary or not. Go ahead and let's pull this one in. So now that we've been draining that for about a minute, we'll crawl back out. We'll go ahead and we'll look at this now. And as you can see, we've lost a little bit of air from that secondary tank, a little bit that we did drain, but our primary looks like it's still in the same spot. So that means that our one-way check valve is working. It's not letting both tanks run through one source. So we'll go ahead and we'll call this one a, uh, guess it passed for the check valve. So the next steps would be to come down here and you check your air compressor for leaks at any of the valves. You can run along and check your air lines, anything like that. You can easily check that with some soapy water and a spray bottle. You can check over here. Just make sure that there's no leaks. If there is, you know where to fix it at because obviously we lost a little bit too much air in that time frame. But other than that, Everything seemed to be good, so we're going to conclude this video. There's been our air system check on our 2005 Freightliner Columbia.